Hello friends, so for this week, for Tassel Tuesday, <clears throat> I'm going to show you my lemon twist um, tassel I made, um, and hopefully it matches. I'm going to do a lemon journal using the lemon twist collection, and tomorrow I will share um some things inspired by the lemon twist also uh, that i'm going to be using maybe in my journal so i use this from the chenille yarn from the dollar tree this yellow thread and i'm almost out of it now um um yellow from the DT and also this the fabric that they have there with lemons and then this yellow seam binding made by Donna and this it's a pin here so I attached it see it's a pin and then the beads came from Happy Crafter Shop and also this pin and, and I'm going to be using the beads here um, for dangles for my share tomorrow. Also, so if not, then I was going to, it would have been exactly like the one I had done. Just with the different cute little lemon cabochon and, and these beads here. And I used something else instead of seam binding last time so that's how it tur turned out so and I'm going to show you how I make them and I'm going to be using I use a bead box I use um, small boxes like this and I just wrap it around you could use a piece of cardboard you can even use your hand and wrap around your four fingers like for a smaller tassel so um, I picked out some things that I'm going to be sh um, showing next week hopefully on Tuesday I'm gonna have like two or three made and I'm gonna be working with you now on two so for one I'm going to use this black yarn from the DT this um, leftover trim from the trims from pack from Michaels the smash that I recently got from the DT and the red fabric from the DT so that's going to be one and then for the other one I'm going to use the red yarn the black yarn the, the white mesh and the red trim so what I'm going to do is just wrap this around this box so I'll let you know how many times I decide to in just one moment okay friends so there, I brighten it up. So I wrapped it um, 70 times because this is thin yarn. I didn't realize how thin it was. See the red is a little bit um, thicker. So this is going to be my first time using mesh, I believe, in my one of my tassels. So what I did is um, cut three strips like this and then I'm going to cut into strips this way so that's what I'm going to do next okay so you can see I cut them some strips so I don't know how many I'm going to use so I just cut up those three pieces of mesh so I'll put that aside because um, for one of them, 
I don't like to put two colors together so I'm going to alternate colors so I'm going to put this black yarn is one of the tassels then I'm going to put the red then the white then the red last and then after that I'm going to start cutting this fabric into strips and also the mesh and then well this is already just the white trim there so I'll come back after I finish um, wrapping this up in red so I didn't realize the mesh was gonna make a mess so I'm going to I wrapped it 45 times the red so now I'm going to put simply the strips like this and I'll see how much I'll put maybe like 10 so this is how it looks I just put eight pieces of mesh and then I'll wrap this ribbon around so I wrap the lace around eight times and what I was thinking with the leftovers I'll probably make um, a tassel out of that too but for now I'm just gonna focus on these two so my next step is um, whatever color you choose to cut um, a piece of yarn or trim and I'm going to slide it in here and over here on top going to knot it like two, like most likely like three or four times and then I'll cut right here but I'm just going to knot it for now and I'm going to work on this. Then I'm going to cut both of them at the same time. So, um, the black one ripped on me when I was knotting it. So I used the red one instead and I knotted it three times. So that one's secure. So I'm going to to start making this one now and I usually only do one at a time but um, I don't know why I put myself to make two if I'm super tired from work but I wanted to show you how I make them because some, a couple people have asked um, so now I'm going to um, Cut this fabric into strips so what I do that I learned from creating with Jovi is I cut it like that much and then I'll, I'll rip it then I'll cut it this then I'll cut it and then I rip it and then I cut it then I rip it um, and it's fast and sometimes I'll a couple times I use the method like her that you put the strips out like an across and like a star then you put one across like this so it could be like more even too so you could um look at her videos if you want to do it the other way but for me this way has been good for me because i like um see how you can see like chunky like this and then for this one I don't remember if the yellow or the blue one I went around like 45 times so it all depends on the how how thick is your trim and like how fluffy you want your tassel So I'll get started on the, I didn't realize the mesh was going to make a mess, but um, I'll cut this into strips and then I'll cut 
my mesh into strips. Okay, so I'm back and I wanted to show you. I just used a square like this. And I cut it into strips. So those are my strips there. And then I cut up my mesh into strips. And for this one, I'm not going to... I love to alternate colors, but what I'm going to do first is put the strips on top. Then some of the mesh. And then lastly, this one. Because, um... So yeah, that's what I'm gonna going to do. Yeah, because I need something to hold down the mesh. So I was gonna put a first this one in between. But I'll go ahead and put that, then this, and then the white. So this is how it looks like. So I put the strips on top, and I'm going to put like the same amount. As I did for the white. So like 8. Okay. So I put around 8 of the mesh. Um, strips. And then I put the white trim. Clear. There from my coast. And then again I just. Um, knotted it with. 3 times. Up here. So uh, both are knotted. So what I'm going to do. Next. Is run my scissors in the middle here then I will show you how how they came out so I'll be back once I cut them so I wanted to show you this step so I just um, finished cutting it and I flipped it on the underneath and I tied it um, knotted it three times again um, because I'm able to knot it tighter okay so I'm back and this is how they turned out um this one came out a fluffier like more fuller because I guess because I used the two yarns and then this is how this one came out and the strings are on top so you can either try to um Put the beads on there on the yarn or what I do is I use jewelry wire either in silver or gold like this and I wrap it around the bottom to, and then I beat and then I wrap it and then I put the beads then um, this one's like this because I'm just gonna probably put a bulb pin and add it to the journal I don't know even like I had trouble deciding how I wanted this but I don't know what I'm gonna going to use for these either gold class um, I think I do have a um, a larger size or I have like silver that you use like for keychains with the rope and then with the circle and I also have recently like silver lobster clasps like um, they're like keychains that it's like heavier so I don't know yet um, what beads how my beads are gonna go and what cl um, clasp but here are here's this one Oh, I just have to fix it up a little bit like once I put the beads and then here's um, this one you can guess down below what my theme is going to be for next week and hopefully I'll finish those two up and that's all I have for this Tassel Tuesday thanks for watching until next time, take care and bye.